guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you um, how to make what I call a fall sangria. So let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some fresh sliced fruits like pears, apples, and oranges. You're going to need a cinnamon stick, some apple brandy, apple juice, ice, some white sweet wine that I'm using, um, I'm just using some Riesling, and some 7-Up soda. If you don't drink alcohol, you can totally substitute the wine with some more 7-Up and you can totally skip the brandy. That's it, and it'd be just as delicious. Okay, let's get right into it. I've got a pitcher here with lots of ice, and to that I'm going to add in a whole bottle of wine. I love sangria. You can make so many different versions of it, which I do a lot, but this happens to be some, one of my favorites because it just represents fall, I think, very well some apple juice, and then you're going to put in a splash of Calvados, which is apple brandy, and then we're going to add in a bunch of sliced fruits, like the apple, the pear, a cinnamon stick, which is just going to give a very subtle, almost spiciness to it, because sliced, um, because, it, you know, cinnamon can be quite spicy. So, stick all that fruit in there, give that a nice Stir. It's so easy to make. Oh, I can tell you. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite sangria is because it's something I absolutely love and I would love to share more recipes, you know, more of these recipes with you. And then I'm just going to squeeze in some fresh orange juice. Give this a nice stir. And then when you serve it, which I'm going to do right now, you're going to fill this, your glass, about three quarters of the way with your sangria, and then you're gonna top it with some 7-Up. Nice, fizzy, bubbly, perfect in sangria. Awesome. Let's just give this a taste. That is on the money. And that's gonna go into the fridge for a little bit because I have company coming in a bit, so it's like the flavors are gonna melt together even better in the cinnamon. It just gives a slight spiciness to it, but I think it works so well with the apple brandy and apple juice and the sweetness of the wine. I hope that you give this recipe a try. And like I said, if you don't drink alcohol, substitute the wine with another fizzy soda or some kind of flavored soda if you want to. And uh, yeah, play with it, you know, with the flavors you like. Well, that's about it. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get this recipe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.